All right, welcome into the Wage Talk First Five. I am Mid Major Matt, aka Matt Joseph, SportsMemo.com. Got a package of uh, pitcher props up. Uh, we've been kind of isolating those. You can find them on FanDuel. You can find them on DraftKings. Uh, you can find them just by heading over to my page on SportsMemo.com. All right, for tonight, uh, a lot of books have the first three wagers. The big books all have them. I'm going to Camden Yards tonight, one of the best ballparks in America. I'm taking the first three under two and a half here. As you look at two pitchers who are young, have great stuff. Keegan Thompson, really strong and solid the first time through the order. Kyle Bradish, not bad the first time through the order. The one worry here is the second time through the order. Batters are hitting 396 against him the second time through. So we're hoping for a clean trip the first time through. But give me under two and a half runs in the first three innings between the Cubs and the Orioles out in Baltimore. All right, Tony Finn, wagertalk.com. Thanks, Matt. I'm going to go to Cleveland, where the Texas Rangers and the former tribe, now Guardians, are matching up. This is actually a, a, a doubleheader. It's the second game of a doubleheader. And it starts, or at least is scheduled to start at 7, 10 p.m. Eastern time. And this is a situation where Cleveland is very familiar with. First off, yesterday was their eighth postponement by weather at Progressive Field. So not that they've been great uh, on the following progress, uh, actually, of postponements. They pitched pretty well, but three and four in first fives uh, under the total as opposed to over and two and five straight up. So we're going to go. Good old-fashioned pitching duel in Texas began the weekend. The Rangers blew a save. Dunning was good. Logan Gilbert was good for Seattle. I can go on and on and talk about how these two teams, Texas and Cleveland, uh, are not no one expects them to compete for postseason spots. However, I trust that Cleveland is going to pitch well. They're not going to hit well against right-handed pitching. They're going to be – or not going to hit well against left-handed pitching. They're going to hit much better against right-handed pitching. Today they face a left-hander in which they've struggled. Uh, you find, you'll find a reliable bullpen for Cleveland much more so than Texas. The Guardians may actually have what we consider a borderline elite bullpen arm in Eli Morgan. Mar Marcus – Simeon has been a key for Texas's offense, and he's finally starting to come out of that slump he was in. But this just isn't a good offensive team. Uh, the, the Rangers are slashing 267, 317, 440 against left handed pitching, much better than their right handed pitching. However, uh, in this situation, we have a pitching change. It was going to be from uh, Pinkerton to now McCarthy, McCarty, excuse me. And Texas has never seen McCarty. McCarty has been up one time. And that was uh, in April because of COVID reasons. He faced a hard-hitting Yankees team and didn't fare very well. Now what we have is a situation where Texas has prepared for pain. And now, last minute, we've had a pitching change in McCarty. No Texas hitter has seen McCarty live. Hearn, he's an ongoing process for the Rangers. His latest start won't figure into this evaluation. Why? He struggled in a series finale against Tampa Bay. But Tampa Bay does good, good work against left-handed pitching. He allowed three runs on, in four innings. And one ended up in a 3-1 loss for the Rangers still, an under in the first five. Today's under in Cleveland, the second game. Always, always a reason to play unders in second games, especially if umpires um, had a long first game. And I suspect the first game could be longer than the second game. We're going to go under. Under five is a little heavy on the juice. Five, under minus 120. Cleveland. Texas, second game of a Tuesday night doubleheader in, in Cleveland, of course, as I just said. Thanks again. Only here at Wager Talk can you get Tony Finn, myself, in first five.